Welcome back to Vintage Diamonds. Today we are going to talk about the classic beauty Carolyn Monroe. When did you notice her for the first time, and how old were you? Let me know in the comments section. Let me tell you a few interesting trivial facts about her, while you enjoy these gorgeous photos. A nude spread in Playboy magazine was offered to her, but she turned it down. Nude work was not an option for her, and she refused to appear in movies like The World is Full of Married Men and Force 10 from Navarin that required it. In the past, she sang in the choir of her church. In 1966, she sang on the EMI single Tar and Cement, featuring Eric Clapton, Cream drummer Ginger Baker, and future Yes guitarist Steve Howe. There were a few overdubs that needed to be added by the producer. Carolyn got the job because her father's friend was Decca Records' head at the time. Goody Two Shoes with Adam Ant, and If You Really Want Two with Meat Loaf, are two of her music videos. Additionally, she recorded the single Pump Me Up with Gary Newman. In Wilson Monroe, she collaborated with Gary Wilson to record a three-track CD. It has been said that she and fellow former Hammer pin-up Ingrid Pitt are the Jane Russell and Marilyn Monroe of the horror genre. According to her website interview with Sony, she was not scheduled to appear in Captain Kronos, Vampire Hunter originally, but her schedule worked out. When Kronos was released in 1974, it was actually supposed to be a series of films. However, the idea was not well received and was scrapped. Nevertheless, it remains one of her favorite films. In Dr. Jekyll and Sister Hyde, she was offered the role of Sister Hyde, which she declined due to its nudity. Martin Beswick eventually won the role. She got a screen test with Paramount Pictures as a result of her work as a photographic model. Carolyn Monroe once said, I wanted to do art. Art was my love. I went to art school in Brighton, but I was not very good at it. I just did not know what to do. I had a friend at the college who was studying photography and he needed somebody to photograph and he asked me. Unbeknownst to me, he sent the photographs to a big newspaper in London. The fashion photographer, David Bailey, was conducting a photo contest and my picture won. 